Hey also guys, it's Kazooie here and welcome to episode 3 of Fatal Man of the Match and in the previous episode we managed to collect 160k and as always I gave you guys two options of players which you were able to choose from and uh, here are the pairs, we have pair 1 in Jerome Boateng and Ribery the 5 star skiller and pair 2 we have the 3rd uh, and 4 Memphis Depay and 5 star skiller Ben Arfa and pair 2 was the obvious winner so that means we're going to be adding those two players to the side and uh, this is how it looks right now, chemistry wise it isn't the greatest but um Hopefully we can sort that out at the end of this episode. Also in the previous episode, we were able to choose a substitute player, which I also will kind of change in the upcoming episodes because I'm going to do like a straw poll section where I'll put in a bunch of players and that way you guys can uh, can vote. But um, the winner was actually the uh, second in form of Lukaku. Unfortunately, I just can't afford him unless I sell most of my players in my club. So I decided to go with the second option, which was Gabriel Jesus, the uh, wants to watch version. I already have in my club, so um, yeah, we'll put him on the bench uh, from now on, basically. He's also a five-star skiller, as you may know, so um, hopefully he will uh, do some work for us uh, in, the, in this team. Anyway, starting off, we came up against a uh, really strong Premier League team with some good-looking players as well, who we could maybe put on the bench later on. But um, we started off great as well, creating some chances here ahead from Thiago which I think was uh, the second uh, big chance in this game then uh, we do get a uh, chance here too at uh, Douglas Costa his defender somehow managed to get his foot uh, on the ball and uh, yeah we picked up a corner from that we create another chance after he tried to clear it away uh, we won the header there we pick it up here with the midfielder and some uh, nice passing uh, between uh, Douglas Costa and Thiago a great shot from Thiago again another corner and pretty much the same thing happened uh, this time though we lost the ball immediately but we got it back because he somehow managed to pass it to me again some great pass and movement and then Thiago goes with a first time weak foot shot into the top corner and uh, makes it 1-0 for us and picks up the first 50k really really nice way to uh, start off this game then 33rd minute Benarf on the ball bit of luck we managed to get the ball back immediately after we uh, kind of lost it with that McGeady spin we picked the ball up here with a pie again a bit of luck we pass it across here to Ben Arfa and then somehow we completely messed up that uh, that chance there with our left back, I think. I held LB, which was kind of stupid. But immediately after it, we get another chance. And Banarfa does make it 2-0. A nice volley into the bottom corner. Goalkeeper had no chance. And uh, we're up 80k already. And uh, after we've done the celebration, my opponent, uh, he had enough. And he decided to rage quit. And since it was still in the first half, we do get 100k extra. Which means we do get a coin total of 180k after less than 40 minutes of play so um yeah really nice way to start the first game of this episode second game we come against a really strong team as well with uh, Garrett Bell as you can see Dybala also really strong defense and a lot of uh, informs especially from Inter and uh, also in this game we start off with a good chance there with a left back actually uh, who was up for it but a great save from his keeper at the near post then moving on 38th minute a brilliant tackle there from Delaney who then sets up the attack himself with some a very calm pass and movement here. Nice one-two with uh, Thiago and Benarfa. Thiago goes for the shot, unfortunately goes over the bar. And moving already into the second half, since the first half wasn't that interesting. Uh, we get a chance here too with Delaney. We take the shot there, unfortunately hit the post. I think it got deflected as well by uh, Sergio Ramos. Not too sure if it would have gone in if uh, it didn't got deflected. But um, second half, we great most of the chances too. Here in the 82nd minute, uh, we pick the ball up here again with our left back. Pass it off to Depay. A great scoop turn from Benarfa. I thought this was going to be a goal, but then all blocked there again with a really good save. 85th minute, he picks up a uh, free kick, which I was kind of uh, scared of that it would maybe go in, but um, he didn't really play it out that uh, that great. Then 88th minute, some great stuff here from Ben Arfa and Douglas Costa, and then look at that for a finish shot from outside the box. We curl it into the far corner, and we make it 1-0 in pretty much the 90th minute. Uh, what a way to, uh, to end off this game, because that's how the game ended. And um, yeah, we pick up a late victory in this game. Only 30k, but if you combine the coins from the previous game and this game, we have a coin total of uh, 210k, which I think is uh, more than enough to actually spend on some players, which we're going to be doing right now. As you can see, top right hand corner, we have uh, 210k to spend. And the first pair is going to be the Squabble and Challenge version of Lacazette. And uh, as a left back, we have the uh, Champions League version of CD Bay, who actually should be a right back because that's where he usually plays. But um, he somehow managed to get a left back, which is good for us, so we could go with him 
or pair two, we have uh, the uh, Movember version of Matuidi, who I have as a lone player, and again, Lacazette. The reason why I went with Lacazette twice is because there isn't really like a good alternative to Lacazette. Um, maybe Fakir or Cavani, but then the chemistry won't really work out that well. But um, yeah, I went with Lacazette since I have him in my club and he won't really cost me coins or something. So let me know in the comments down below which pair I should go with, pair one or pair two. And also make sure to vote because I will leave a straw poll in the description which you can vote on uh, for the substitute player. I'll pretty much give you guys a list of players which you can choose from. And that way we're going to be deciding who is going to be our next substitute. But anyway, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.